A deadly shootout in Oregon overnight could help end the occupation of a federal wildlife refuge by armed men. Their leader, Ammon Bundy, is among five people arrested by the FBI and Oregon State Police after a traffic stop. Officers shot and killed one person, the group's spokesman. Three other members were arrested separately. It is not clear how many people are still holed up at the Malheur National Wildlife Refuge. Carter Evans is in Burns, Oregon. Carter, good morning. Good morning. For weeks, authorities have taken a hands-off approach to this occupation, but that changed on Tuesday. Bundy and his followers were headed to a town meeting when they were stopped by police. It's unclear who fired first. This video shows FBI agents and police intercepting militant leader Eamon Bundy and several other militia members on an Oregon highway, not far from where they've occupied federal land since the start of the year. Shots were fired, Bundy was arrested, and his brother Ryan was shot, but has non-life-threatening injuries. This is about your freedom to move about this country. Lavoy Finicum, a spokesman for the protesters, was killed in the shootout, according to Eamon Bundy's father, Cliven, who spoke with CBS station COIN. Ryan Bundy had been shot in the arm. Lavoy Finnegan had been murdered, cold-bloodedly murdered. In an interview recorded Monday, Finnegan described a change in how authorities were approaching the 25-day occupation. They have become more hardened. And when they step out of their vehicles, now they're stepping out with their their, their rifles. Last night, heavily armed officers stood guard outside a hospital believed to be holding one of the militia members. At least eight people connected to the armed protest were arrested Tuesday on federal felony charges of conspiracy to impede officers. This is the Constitution. That's what we're up here for, the Constitution. On January 2nd, Bundy and his armed followers took control of the Malheur National Wildlife Refuge. They claim the federal government is forcing ranchers to sell their lands. Why are you armed? We are serious about being here. We're serious about defending our rights, and we are serious about uh, getting some things straightened out. Just days ago, Oregon Governor Kate Brown stepped up pressure on federal authorities to end the occupation. The situation is absolutely intolerable, and it must be resolved immediately. Now, it's still not clear how many people are occupying the buildings inside the refuge or if law enforcement has already cleared everyone out. Charlie, the FBI is planning a news conference later this morning. Interesting. Carter, thanks.